Hello, I'm Carrie Hennessy, and welcome to The Dirt. I am super excited about today's episode. It's a crackerjack of a topic. The cat's pajamas, the bee's knees. Did you know the phrase, the bee's knees, used to mean something tiny and insignificant. Since then, it's evolved to mean something outstanding. And I find nothing more outstanding than native pollinators in the landscape. One of the basics of plant life is pollination, which means transferring pollen from one plant to another. Now the majority of all plants are pollinated either by wind or animals. Animal pollinators can be anything from birds and bats to insects like flies, butterflies, and bees. See, there's a reason they call it the birds and the bees. Hmm. Surprisingly, the honeybee is not native to Wisconsin. It was brought over by European colonists, not for the honey byproduct, but for making beeswax candles. Sadly, you may have heard that honeybee populations are in severe decline across the entire country. Our best insurance policy to ensure fruit and vegetable production is our native bee species. You might be thinking, hey Carrie, bees are great and all, but I do not want them in my yard. I have kids and I don't want them to get stung. The buzzing insects that build nests in your eaves and hover around your soda cans are not bees, but kinds of hornets, yellow jackets, and wasps and there are some key differences between bees and wasps. Difference number one, bees have hair. If you look closely at a honeybee, you will see tiny hairs covering its body. If you dare get close enough to a wasp, you'll see it's bald. Difference number two, bees are vegetarians. Wasps are carnivores, though sometimes wasps do visit flowers. Difference number three, wasps are aggressive. Bees will ignore you unless you get up in their business. Most native bees are ground nesters and will search for patches of bare dirt to create their underground tunnels. Bumblebees tend to build their nests in thick grass. And 30% of bees are cavity nesters, which means they'll lay their eggs in the soft pith of a twig or burrow into a dead tree or stump. Here are my picks for outstanding native pollinators. Salvia, blazing star, coreopsis, and Russian sage will have continuous activity. Sunflowers, bee balm, culver's root, and joe pie weed will attract a wide variety of bees. My favorite plant to bring bees to the yard is calamint. Johnson's Nursery carries the variety Montrose White because it doesn't reseed everywhere and it has an extremely extended bloom time. Just give it a sunny dry location and you'll enjoy the flowers from June until frost. I keep Montrose White Calamint around my vegetable garden to increase the yield of peppers and tomatoes, which specifically require bees for pollination. Plus, it helps deter the rabbits. When I get stressed and need a moment of zen at the nursery, I come out to this patch of Montrose White and enjoy the humming of bees busy at work. They couldn't care less that I've come for a visit. So focused are they on collecting every bit of nectar and pollen. Insecticides are one of the biggest obstacles for native bee and honeybee populations. If you have to use a pesticide, be sure to read the label. Many products will specifically tell you not to spray when the plant is in bloom to prevent killing native pollinators, like bees and butterflies. For this reason, try to use insecticides as a last resort. Studies have shown that if 25% of a landscape is left or converted to natural habitat, 100% of pollination needs will be met for certain crops. Just imagine if we all devoted a corner of the yard to native pollinators. Wouldn't that be the V's knees? I'm Carrie Hennessy. Thanks for watching The Dirt. Follow The Dirt at johnsonsnursery.com, Facebook, or subscribe on YouTube. Okay, how about this? My mantra springs all the bees to the yard, and their blooms are better than yours. Damn right, they're better than yours. Do you want one? Gonna have to charge. My mantra springs all the bees to the yard. Oh, that's a weird looking thing. Zip, 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 zip. Okay, let me just throw something out there. It's getting hot in here. Check out, all, so check out all my drones. This pollen is so sweet, but they're not gonna sting me. <laughs> That's a little weaker. <laughs>